This is when you die. The average person in North America lives up to 80 years old and 70 around the world. Each box represents a week in your life and there are 52 boxes or weeks in a year. So I tried to mark an X onto every week that I've lived or every week I've been alive. Um, I only got to 15 years old because I got a headache because there are so many boxes. I'm not 15. So this is what the first five years of your life looks like. If you were five years old, you'd have this much life left. Then you go to elementary, which is from six to 12 years old. Then comes high school from 13 to 17. So if you graduated, then you have this much time left. Now let's say you take a break and relax for two years. I'll leave the next two years blank. And then you go to college for about four years. That's what this would look like. And then after that, you finally land that job that you've always wanted. So you're gonna be at work from 24 until the average retirement age of 65. So this whole thing is your career. And then this right here is retirement, and that's what this looks like. So you're born, you go to school, you go to more school, and then you work for most of your life until you retire, and then that's it. I mean, this is only assuming that nothing bad happens. There's a bunch of stuff that could happen, and nothing's guaranteed. And this isn't meant to depress you or make you sad. It's meant to show you how short life is. So we should spend it doing what we like. And what if you hate school? And that means that you would spend 16 years of your life not happy and that means 16 years of your life would suck which is 20 percent of your life if you actually get to live this long so let's say you hate your job and you only live for the weekend that means you're only happy for 104 out of the 365 days there was 104 days equal 15 weeks 15 weeks out of the entire 52 weeks is only 29 percent of your career that means you're only going to spend 29 percent of your career happy and maybe if you don't like the math i can understand why you hated school so i'll say it again if you're only living for the weekend you're only enjoying 29 percent of your career so maybe instead of hating school find something you like about it so 20 percent of your entire non-guaranteed life doesn't suck so if you hate your job find something you like about your job or get a different job even if it pays less at least you're spending the majority of your life doing something you enjoy it's not worth trading your happiness for a paycheck do you remember when you were a kid on the playground and your mom shouted that you had five minutes left and for those five minutes you made each single second count because you knew that it would be over soon this is our playground. This is our five minutes. We need to make a count. If there's something you want to do, do it now. Learn a new language, join that dodgeball league, spend more time with the kids, put the phone down, start a new business or podcast, exercise, apply for your dream job, write that book, finally talk to that person you've always wanted to talk to, learn something new, make a video about how short life is, or spend time with that nephew you really love, even though he cries every single time he sees you. Oh, this is funny. Mommy! <laughs> it's okay, this is just to remind you that we don't live forever. That our time on the calendar is unlimited. That our five minutes on the playground is coming up. It could be 50 years, it could be five years, five months, five days, or five minutes. Whatever time is left should be spent doing the things that matter to us with those that matter. wealthiest place on the planet is the cemetery because there you find potential never realized there you find dreams never pursued